Hi, everybody. Welcome uh, back to the Nefos Group podcast. Today, I am delighted to be joined by Julie. Hello, Julie. Hello. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Good. Um, so for those uh, that don't know who you are, which can't be anyone, surely, but uh, <laughs> what is your role at Nefos? So my official title is practice manager and HR director. However, my title that I would like is Chief of Sparkles. <laughs> and what is the Chief of Sparkles, please? Um, it's just anything glittery, unicorn, sparkly, um, all the fun stuff. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so um, today we wanted to get into a little bit about working for Nefos, um, you know, what, what's what's good, probably some of the also maybe what's bad, um, because we've all got to be honest that nothing's perfect. Um, and just a bit about... Yeah, how your roles changed and, and, and stuff in the business. So um, I guess firstly, um, why did you choose to work for Nefos? So I think that initially I was looking for a position just after maternity leave, actually. And I'd relocated to Cheltenham and I was looking for um, a position in a small company. I've always worked in quite big, large organizations and um, I kind of wanted a change, something that I thought would be kind of a little bit more chilled and easygoing. And then I started at Nefos. <laughs> um, and it wasn't exactly that, but <laughs> for all the right reasons. Um, I started as um, a PA and admin um person within the uh, office. I think there was four of us at the time. Um, and that kind of developed and progressed more as I kind of shaped and molded my role. So I absolutely love working with people and I love the kind of people management and making people enjoy their, their work and their roles and getting fulfillment out of their job. And that kind of took and, you know, went to the next level of um, really dealing with people in terms of um, where they want to get to in their careers, how we can support them. And that's something that we massively kind of nurture at, at Nefos in developing and progressing and supporting people, not just from kind of like a monetary value, but how can we be there for people um, in their careers and what do they want to, you know, really get out of um of life and, in, and make sure that they have that kind of work-life balance as well. Um, so obviously I said that I started out as, you know, PA and admin. I then kind of went into more of an office manager role. And then obviously it's now um, transpired into a more of a HR role. We're still keeping kind of that office management aspect of, of the role as well. And what's really interesting is... Um you you talked about um you know wanting people to enjoy their job and enjoy coming to work and which for some people i might i know might sound crazy but you can come to work and you can <laughs> enjoy it you know you can i mean ultimately you've got to go to work right so yeah. you need to make sure that those hours that you're in the office or whatever you do enjoy it like what are some of the ways that you've so i think it's fair to say before you started bringing in some uh kind of uh perks and things like that there weren't yeah. many going around were there so what, what are some of the things that you brought in to transport the stuff yeah so i completely agree with that and i think before i started at nefos i don't think i would have ever thought it would be possible to come in and actually enjoy coming to work <laughs> um so i think that you know and i will sit here and i will say you know nefos is a great place to work and it's amazing but it genuinely is and i think that one of the main things about working for nefos is the the team and how close knit we are and how friendly everyone is, but also every single member of staff is valued in their own right. And regardless of, you know, what level they have, what skills they have, what qualifications they have, everyone brings something different to the team. And that is absolutely valued and recognized. Um, we are a massive advocate of, you know, staff development and recognition. And if someone wants to progress and develop towards a certain career path um we will absolutely you know support that and i think you know an example of that is we had someone that you know were wanted to be an accountant and were training towards that career path and they changed their minds and they wanted to go into mortgages so 
we created a mortgage business and we completely supported you know their studies to be a mortgage advisor and, and now they are you know solely running that business so you know we will completely support people in what they want to do if we can see the value in that employee and what they do and what they bring to the company no matter what it be um, we will always make sure that we support that um, and that is I think one of the key fundamental things about what we offer at Nefos and you know there's there's many of a um, benefits that we offer um, as a business but I think that you know out of everything you know staff development is the absolute thing that we really really want to support and, and progress and develop. I think businesses take for granted and I know I did as a business owner take for granted how important staff development is and I don't mean that uh, in a way that I don't care about my staff or I don't want them to develop or but I think as a founder or an owner you're so focused on what the vision is you kind of sometimes forget and I think it's really important having someone like you that actually really does care about the staff and their and like I say that's not saying I don't care about staff <laughs> but that is able to dedicate their time uh you know to, to support in the staff and things like that because you don't always find that in in companies I don't think so um I guess you know on that note, you know, what, what opportunities for careers exist um, within Nefos? I know we talked about a member of the team that wanted to switch kind of divisions and, you know, do you think there's opportunities for people to come in, to grow, et cetera? Yeah, definitely. I, I think I'm like a perfect example of that. Like I came in, you know, as a PA, as admin, and, you know, now I'm practice manager and HR director. And I, you know, I've always kind of said that my career path is people management and HR, and that is absolutely what I wanted to do. And I was your PA and supporting like, you. I, I was going to say, it sounds like an amazing <laughs> job, I just have to say. And, you know, um, although you absolutely needed me at the time, you wanted to do whatever it was that you could do to support me um, to do what it was that I was really passionate and key and, and, you know, what I really wanted to do. And, you know, that kind of HR aspect is what I really, really want to do. And it's absolutely what I'm passionate about. And you were more than happy to support that. And that is, you know, kind of where I'm going now. We, I've talked about, you know, um, mortgages as well. And that is an area that, you know, we've kind of developed and progressed. And, you know, I think that as a group of companies, we now expanded in lots of different areas. And, you know, we've, we have regular conversations with employees to discuss what it is that they, want to do um so i think that i'm a perfect example of that in that you know i started as a pa and um administrator and i you know expressed a passion for people management and hr and that is absolutely what i love to do so um you know i was your pa at the time what a job i must say yeah it was an amazing job and i did love it but um you know as much as i you know you needed me to support you you absolutely wanted me to be happy in in the role that i was in and you know since then i've um you know taken the career path to develop my skills and my knowledge to make sure that you know i'm doing what i absolutely love to do and i think that that is you know the the key thing about you know nefos is that they will absolutely support anyone in what career path they want to do whether it be you know accounting or um hr or mortgages or what whatever it is and you know we've got a group a group of companies now where you know people can you know adventure into lots of different avenues and we have regular conversations with all of our staff about you know career development and what they want to get out of you know their career and you know what skills they want to have and you know we discuss all of the different opportunities that there are at at, at nefos and you know there are people in the office that are you know qualified accountants it doesn't mean that that's what they want to do forever and will absolutely support them in whatever they want to do however you know if they want to you know continue and progress their career as an accountant then we'll make sure that we provide the right opportunities to do that whether that be you know cpd training or you know further qualifications in in you know different areas or whatever that be so um i think that there's so many like growth and development opportunities especially as the company continues to grow mm. as well no i agree 
So, um, yeah, so we, we, we've been talking about, you know, staff uh, progression, uh, staff uh, kind of incentives, I guess, in a way as well. And um, what, what would you say is one, re if you had to kind of talk to somebody about joining Nefos, what would be one reason that you would give to, to someone to join? In all honesty, like the, the main thing, and, I've, you know, we, we've talked about doing this podcast and, um, you know, you kind of made me aware of some of the questions that you were going to ask. And I had to think about it and I was like, right, okay, if I had to think of, you know, one thing, what's the first thing that comes to mind? And I think it genuinely is the people and, you know, the, the team get on so well with each other. Everybody genuinely cares for it. For each other um everyone helps each other out whenever they need to and you know and it's kind of like what i said earlier everyone values each other and it it doesn't matter what level anyone is at what skills or qualifications anyone's got no one sees themselves as you know above or higher than anyone else and that's like you know including yourself mm, um <laughs> but you know i think that that is like the most important thing for me and i think that that's it's very, very difficult to get that in, you know, large organizations and even some smaller organizations. And it's, it's really, really difficult to find, but that would be the, the, the main thing for me is, you know, the, the people and the team. Thank you. And thank you for saying nice things about me. I will pay you later. Um, <laughs> uh, and if you had to get, you know, there'll be business owners listen to this and maybe even, you know, people that work for a company or whatever, but if you had to give kind of one tip, uh, for a business owner of how they could engage their employees? What, what do you think would be a really good way to start? I think that there's there's lots of different things. And I think that the main thing is what I found and feedback from the team is communication. So I think that, you know, you've got a goal that you want to grow the company and you want to achieve all these things, but it's about bringing everyone else on that journey along with you. And it's not just you running off, doing anything that you want to do, you know, conquering the world, whatever it is. Um, it's about the team getting that buy-in and understand, you know, what the goals are, what they want to achieve. And that strategic narrative as to everything that we do is to work towards that that strategy and, and you know, those goals that we want, that we want to do. And, you know, when we're making these decisions, it's about actually, right, okay, let's speak to the people that actually do the work, that know the clients, that, you know, are doing this day in, day out, because it's very easy for, you know, me and you to sit in a room and say, right, this is the decision mm. that we're going to make. These are the things that we're going to do. But, you know, we don't do, you know, the work day in, day out. It's those, you know, the team Especially that do me. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's the team that do it and they're the ones that understand the clients and the mm. work and, you know, where if we say that we want to get to a you know particular place, it's about understanding from them how we get there as well. So I think it's the communication and also, you know, the, the buying and the understanding of, of the team as well. Yeah, I think that, I think that's a really good, really good point. Uh, you know, communication is really important, and sometimes I think as a business owner, you think that people don't care about what you're talking about. If that makes sense, you yeah. know, I think that people think, well, you know, I'm just here to do my job, and then I'm going to go home, and you know, but and I, and and that's what I've been guilty of before is just thinking, well, nobody cares, so there's no point in me telling them because they won't care. Whereas actually, some of the feedback we've had, isn't it, has been we would love to hear Joe yeah. talk a little bit more about what the vision is and what the plan is. And, yeah, exactly. um, you know, so we are trying to do a little bit more of that um, as well, aren't we? And try and, um, you know, kind of give a bit of an overview of what, of what the vision is. I think for me as well, the, the biggest thing for me, and, and this is now speaking on the business owner's side, if you like, for the staff is, you know, I can do everything as a business owner to engage staff, but if the staff aren't engaged themselves as well, and and so, you know, we've talked about Nefos being great, but I'd also like to talk about the fact that we've also got some really great people yeah, and the, 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 the efforts that they put in, the hard work, you know, all of that sort of stuff, you know, the give and take, we definitely have a huge give and take, don't we? People know that you know, they can, um, you know, go to the dentist first thing in the morning and come in late and not worry about it too much. Yeah. And, you know, because we, 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 we know they'll give back. Yeah. I've worked at so many places where, you know, you work really hard at something, you work for your lunch, you work over, or, you know, you've put absolutely everything into something and then, you know, you give it to your manager and they say, yeah, thanks. And then nothing happens with that. I think that absolutely doesn't happen at Nefos. If, 
you um, were to, you know, anyone that works over or you can see that they've, you know, done an exceptional job on something, you know, we all shout about it. We all make sure that those people are recognised for the, their efforts and their time that they've put into something. And, you know, I think that that is also something that we are trying massively to get better at is making sure that everyone is recognized even those people that you know we've got some really really loud characters um in the team but we've also got people that don't shout about you know the things the amazing things mm, that they do mm. and you know we want to make sure that those things don't go unnoticed so it's about recognizing everyone and all of the the work that people do um and i think that that is something that we are trying to you know get better at and you know we're um, bringing in a, a goodie cupboard and making sure That's that has been you your know, pet project, hasn't it? It has been my pet project. I got a cupboard. I just need to get the goodies. <laughs> yeah, now. the first stage one was covered, <laughs> yeah. which we've taken. But you know, the whole um, process around that is making sure that you know any little bit of feedback that you can give on your colleagues, or if a client gives you know feedback on something that we've done well, recognizing people for that and nominating them for mm. you know the things that they've done well, and and then you know we'll take them to the goodie cupboard and give them something <laughs> for that. And, you know, we'll do like a raffle at the end of the month for all those things that people have been nominated for and they'll get a prize for that. And it's just, you know, it's, it's a little thing and, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time and it doesn't cost a lot, no. but the, the amount that that will mean to someone at the end of the month when, you know, they've looked at all these things that they've been nominated for and they feel appreciated, you know, I think that that is kind of priceless. Oh, I totally agree. And I think, you know, one of the things I've really liked that you've introduced in the team meetings, not that I ever turn up to them, but uh, is the uh, is the shout outs. Um, yeah. You know, it, we have an employee of the month and, um, you know, that's voted for by the team. And But, you know, if you are a quieter member of the team or a louder member of the team, there's every chance that the louder member gets heard more and therefore gets voted for more. Yeah. Whereas the, um, the shout outs is is you know you just have to come to that nothing too special but you know so and so was really yeah. helpful with a client last week on this yeah. question or you know i didn't know the answer to this so i asked so and so and they helped me you know we yeah. give a little you know th that for me is a really nice touch yeah and you, you know what to be fair I, I put that into the agenda and i thought oh, we're gonna go to the meeting i'm gonna say has anyone got any shout outs and it would be quiet and it was you know i was actually genuinely um surprised by the amount of people that were like yeah actually this person did amazing at this i really want to shout them out i really want to say thank you for for doing this and you know there were so many and every single week we've been doing this for a couple of months now so every week there's never not anyone that sits mm. there and is like no i haven't got anything like every every single week we have someone that wants to shout out someone for, for something so um yeah actually I, I really like that and it has actually worked really well so thank you julie we've we've talked about a lot of um great stuff and probably some great things for people to take away and implement either in their own business or or, or in their own teams um but if you could give uh you know a hr director or you know a scaling business uh kind of three takeaways that they could implement what, what would you what would you give them um okay so i would say staff development so having conversations with their employees and understanding what it is that they want in in their job you know job quality is completely different to ev for every single person and every person will want different things out of their their job not everybody wants to you know develop and progress but there will be certain things that they do want out of their job so it's about understanding and building a relationship with their employees and, 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 you know, kind of building on that and putting some, you know, kind of key objectives in place to help them get to, to those points. Um, I think the uh, communication, kind of like what we've discussed before, um, making sure that your team are aware of, you know, where you, what your goals are for the company and where you want to go and where you want to get to. And then, you know, getting that feedback from, the the team and, and kind of getting their buy into that so you know the more that they're brought into your goals and what you want to achieve the more productive that they're going to be and the the you know the more likely that you're going to be able to achieve those um and then i think the last one is you know a million percent recognition mm -hmm. and making sure that you know people are recognized for their hard work and the mm -hmm. things that they do i think that you know 
even just like taking the time to write out an email to say really really good job like I really think that you've done amazing on this like it it goes such a long way so it's about making sure that you're putting that time aside to recognize people for the um the work that they do so summary staff development communication and recognition yes probably Perfect. a million others but um, <laughs> yeah they're the top three that's come to my head so. <laughs> no that's really good and um thank you you're thank you for your time great to have you uh and yeah if you want to find out any more about uh julie and nephos and you probably won't want to find out about unicorns. me uh, unicorns <laughs> uh all the uh usual details will be in the description below and we look forward to seeing you on the next one thank you